Welcome to the Comma Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft Class, specifically Nick Chubb. Uh, Nick Chubb, running back out of Georgia. We're going to do an analytics profile on him. We're going to look at his production data, his athleticism data, to give you a perspective on what his chances might be at the next level in the NFL. Uh, this draft class in particular, the 2018 class, is going to be one of the deepest running back classes that we've seen in a very long time. Uh, probably rivals last year's class. And I just wanted to do a profile today, uh, giving you some of the pros, some of the cons of Nick Chubb, uh, and why he should be considered one of the top running backs in this draft class. Uh, and if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. So if you don't know what the athleticism data I'm talking about is, uh, or if you're not familiar with what market share production is, all those terms will be in the description to give you a general idea about what those things are. So let's get to Nick Chubb. In terms of Nick Chubb's production profile, so this is his production profile coming out of college. Um, he had a 73.49 out of 100 market share production score. Uh, based on my data since the 1969 NFL draft class, uh, won uh, pretty much the vast majority of five-time Pro Bowl running backs uh, since 1969 had at least a 69 or higher market share production score and three-time pro bowlers had at least a 52 or higher score uh, didn't quite hit the all pro threshold hold of 89 or higher the all pro threshold just to give you a perspective that's guys like barry sanders emmett smith that's like hall of famers essentially is what that 89 or higher area is so nick chubb didn't really test like a future hall of famer but he did test like a very very good above average running back based on his production profile uh, when you get to the averages of the, of the position, so this is what the average All-Pro score is, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score. Um, Nick Chubb is essentially pretty dang close to what the average score for a Pro Bowl running back is and what the average score for a starter running back is. So he's in a very good spot to at least be a Pro Bowler to long-term starter based on his production profile. Then when you get to his athleticism data, um, Nick Chubb was by far the second best testing running back at the Combine this year. Um, had a 97.81 explosive lower body strength score, 86.08 speed score, and 82.63 flexibility score. Um, it's, again, important to note that explosive lower body strength score is a vertical and broad jump measured against mass density, so it's how explosive they are for their size. The speed score is a 40-yard dash measured against mass density, which shows you how fast they are for their size. And then the flexibility score is a short shuttle slash three cone measured against mass density, which shows you how flexible they are for their size, or at least how much balance they have for their size. So again, Nick Chubb, fantastic in every single way um, based on his athleticism testing. And all you really need to know about the ring back position when it comes to athleticism is that you really only need to have one 79 or higher athleticism trait. 100% uh, of multiple all pro slash pro bowl running backs since the 1999 NFL draft class had at least one athleticism trait that was 79 or higher. Uh, so essentially, you're just trying to find a running back that has a extremely above average athletic skill set. And when it comes to Nick Chubb, he has three 79 or higher athleticism traits for the position, which only increases his chances of becoming a multiple Pro Bowl slash multiple All-Pro running back, although multiple All-Pro is less likely due to his production score. Uh, so overall, when it comes to Nick Chubb's profile, again, fantastic profile. Has the production traits necessary for a Pro Bowl to long-term starter. Has the athleticism traits, obviously, of a multiple All-Pro slash Pro Bowl running back. And I think, again, this is a very, very deep class of running backs, but Nick Chubb is putting himself in position to at least be in the top five discussion of the running backs in this draft class. I think he pretty much solidified that at the Combine. And I think, again, if you're looking for a running back in day two sort of area, I think Nick Chubb would be a very good investment. Other than the injury history, which is very well documented, by the way, uh, you know, because of the knee injury and, and, you know, the catastrophic knee injury that he suffered on national television. Other than that, I do think Nick Chubb has a very good shot of being a fantastic running back for the years to come in the right system. Uh, and I just uh, and let me know in the comment section below what are your general thoughts about Nick Chubb in this particular draft class. And of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well. Uh, if you have uh, anybody who likes this type of content, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Bye. Thank you.